This video is sponsored by Opera GX. More on that later. All right, everybody just relax, okay? It, it's one dragon, it's a few explosions, not a big deal, we just need a plan and we can get out of here. Rayloff, you got anything? Go see a movie. Jesus Christ, you're useless. Ulfric, come on, y y the High King, you gotta have something rolling around that noggin of yours. It is a misconception that people should not smoke. The closest town is Riverwood. My brother is a mechanic. I am a true hero. I love you. There are a million different ways to play Skyrim. You've got vanilla, with sprinkles, spent too long on Tumblr forums, or my personal favorite, wildly stupid. I will support you. <laughs> with Formerly Blue's poorly translated Skyrim mod, I get just that, so special shout out to Formerly Blue and their team for putting together this mod that ran every single line of dialogue in Skyrim through like 20 different translations, then all the way back to English for a confusing and nonsensical journey. If I had to do it all over again, it would be you. Is... Is this love? Today we have two main objectives. The first objective is to explore our familiar but newly confusing world as we follow and then finish the main questline of Skyrim. The second objective is one of personal obsession. I want to punch Alduin in the face, killing him in one blow. Hand-to-hand -hand builds made possible with mods have been one of my favorite ways to play recently, and I want to take this build as far as it can reasonably go. However, before min-maxing our magical boxing monk build, it's important that we just dive in and get cozy with our new world of nonsense and goof balls that are really obsessed with the Old Testament for some reason. Noah. Come on, say something. You better make me laugh. If I don't laugh on this first one, I'm out. Hello, get up. Do you want to cross the border? He's walking straight into the king's trap, just like us, and there are thieves lurking there. This guy is in shock. Honestly, his new dialogue kind of fits his flabbergasted look. Demon Ulfric, Mr. Windlum. <laughs> they I keep welcome, changing though. his title. No, I'm not angry. It won't happen. Information. <laughs> Information is awesome. Go, go, come on. Oh, no. And I feel like in order to fit the theme of this whole mod with some of the ridiculous names that are in here, we need uh, we need to name our character a concept. Translate it to Hawaiian at first, so we get Hanau Dragon. We'll go from Hawaiian to Punjabi. We'll go from Mongolian back to English, and let's see. The Dragonborn did it. This is quite exciting. It's like a completely new experience. Mr. Alfred, well? It is a misconception that people should not smoke. <laughs> That's the best thing Ulfric has ever said. I'm a prisoner, go! Do I go with Ralph or Feet? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Feet. I just like the name Feet. There we go. All right, I just need to get my hands free. Oh, it changes the name of everything. This is my choice. Strong alcohol. And a wooden spoon. Tell me. <laughs> no, it, is that First. all their, please tell me, that's all their dialogue in combat. Tell, tell me, tell please. Me. Tell me. Sigh. <laughs> Sigh. The closest town is Riverwood. My brother is a mechanic. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> he sounds, why does he sound uh, like he's kind of enjoying it, you know? <laughs> Play Hair Monster Online for free now. This video is sponsored by Hair Monster Online. This is a lie. Thank you to the real sponsor of today's video, Opera GX. Opera has mods now, but more importantly, my mod is available including custom background music that's just a rereading of my first YouTube video, custom keyboard sounds that came directly from my mouth. Tab sound effects, browser theme and colors, and this awesome custom wallpaper that Opera made for us specifically. Mods are easy to swap out and customize via the sidebar on Opera, and there's a wealth of options for when you eventually get tired of my mod. Aside from awesome customization flair, Opera GX gives you control of your PC back by allowing you to limit CPU and RAM use. So go ahead and open all 700 of those Nexus tabs, you legend. Have any burning questions about the universe? Well, with ChatGPT and ChatSonic available on the sidebar, you're one click away from finding the answer to all of your most desired queries. Nervous about switching browsers? Opera makes it easy. Their import tool allows you to quickly bring your settings from previous browsers over like history, bookmarks, and cookies. So what are you waiting for? 
Use my link down below to access my custom mod and all the tools available to you with Opera GX. Thank you again to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Federer thinks about the resignation of Camilla Valerius. I told him it was mine. Okay, all right, so you and Feindel both like the same girl. I'm not sure how I extrapolated that out of what he said, but I'll roll with it. Camille Valerie knows I'm the most beautiful person in Riverwood, but you are right. I hate Camille Fendel. <laughs> I have a recipe for you. His real name is Pendle. Pendle. Camilla, stop <laughs> calling trolls. Okay. Well, what the hell is Feindel's name going to be? It is the pendulum. <laughs> it's not how, I don't know how we get here. Do you think you're going to attack me? Camilla, this game can be played by two people. Write to the sender and tell Sven. After reading, share your thoughts. Wait, it sounds like they're both going after Camilla. I said no. No travel, no drama, no theft. So I invite you to listen to what you are doing. And customer, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? Her name is pretty consistent. Camilla Valeria. You are a child. Uh, don't be a stranger. Okay, insult me. He knows violence against women. If the goblins thought the Hall of Famers would let them, mother is also there, said the judge. I didn't talk to him. I'll see you another day. What the fuck am I supposed to tell Pendle? Thanks for your help. However, if you do not work in the factory, you accumulate gold. Honestly, pretty accurate. If you just follow me and we kill things, that's how we make money, not working in the factory. Hi, have you been to Halkin? Have you seen this animal with your own eyes? I have. Yarl Big Bob. <laughs> this is considered an expression of gratitude. You can only do one thing for me. You can suit people with special abilities. Hold on, wait, what is the name of the quest? Online Game Black Falls Mountain. Why is everything related to online gaming? Everything in here is a reference to some mysterious MMO. All right, where am I going and what am I getting? In the Black Falls Cemetery, a special stone, Creeping Stone, is a card for snake dogs. So we're off to start the main quest, and while it's not too difficult to try and retranslate things in my head early on due to the iconic nature of these first few quests, the toll of ridiculous translations only seems to worsen over time as I further lose track of what things really mean. What's paralysis? <laughs> no way! <laughs> And it's kind of an independent country. How do we get there with paralysis? You. You. He is busy. You kill him and stop me before anything happens. Can I say I'm alive? Let's start my campaign. He must be a DD and d fan. He's sitting there like, ah, please, let me home. We have a campaign going. We're on the third day. Idiot. Why should I share my... Do not share it. <laughs> Why should I share my d and campaign with anybody? Pendulum? Go. No, don't tell me to go, Pendulum. I have to fight with you. He's got this. He's good. He's good. Trust me, y'all. I know him. There you go, Pendulum. Kick his ass. I will support you. <laughs> I am supportive of this endeavor. Okay, well, if that's if you want more of it. All right, let's see what the first shout's called. Word of power learned. Force. Very hard. Ooh, brawlers, bracers. Online night. Why is everything online? Black Waterfall Mountain Dragonstone. I am better than what God sent me. What? I'm serious. I don't know if they can stop the demons if they decide to kill White Ron. <laughs> Not White Ron. <laughs> Who is White Ron? Oh, White Ron. <laughs> She's talking about White Ron. <laughs> Are you willing to discuss controversial topics like other activists? What? <laughs> oh no, Fire Fringe is racist. <laughs> yeah, no, Fire Fringe is definitely a, I'm just asking questions type dude. I can't really do anything hand to hand. -y. I guess I could try to run up and get a punch in. Yeah, we'll just punch his ankles or his beard. Oh God. <laughs> no, 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 run. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'll punch his, oh my God. I don't know if I can show that. <laughs> that might be a TOS violation. Yeah, and then you, um. You drink the dragon's soul from his t Now we can speak very hard. Still, this is the old power. What a baby dragon. On my right is someone I'll call Tana from Whiterun. This is the highest honor I have ever received. I held Lydia's hand. Yeah, you want to hold my girl's hand? God bless you, my friends with hands. I will kill you again. What the fuck is Shrek doing? Was that there the whole time? No, that was not there. 10 seconds ago, was it? Was it there the whole time? The president stood up and said he loved me. Do not wait more. Aww. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> oh, poor 
Forgotti. His last thoughts were of Noah, the great studio. They put FL Studio in Skyrim. Let's make a beat real quick. It's a payment method, understand? If you want to use our program, you will have to pay, for example, 200 gold. Oh no, she wants me to sign up for a course in her bio. Let's go, Lydia. Still. Tell me. I will not lose. Confirmed. She almost took my kill. That would have pissed me off. Here we go. It's my favorite enemy in the entire game. Let's see if they still kick my ass. Oh, fuck. I still got it. If you're going to give me milk, give me something special. Here, here, take it, take it, take my milk, leave me alone. 200? Man, that's the second time I've been robbed. <laughs> damn it. What the, the top of the fuck mountain. is that? God damn it. Fuck. Okay, it's all good. It's just a drink. <laughs> Let's, yeah, yeah, that, that's. Oh my god, he's gonna kill everyone on the farm. Wait, you're the asshole that robbed me. Everyone look away. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't, I, I really, I really, actually, I really don't know how I can shoot. It's very close. Okay, where's the dickhead that robbed me? What would don't rush things. Have? Some people understand it. If I had to do it all over again, it would be you. Is... Is this love? Wait, wait, wait! Hold on, she totally just flirted with me. All right, everybody, get ready for the most boring part of the entire game of Skyrim. Then a dragon appeared. I'm answering your summons. I love you. I want to give you something, just with my hands. Come on. I can't show you guys this next part. It's actually, it's actually way too hot. Look at her go. Watch out, watch out. Watch out, chicken in the road. <laughs> and thus started mine, and my Twitch chats by extension, obsession with manual carriage rides potentially causing carnage. Pause. Do we have a gamble? I want to play a new game. We're going to gamble on whether or not the horse gets a kill before we get to Morthal. I understand it just killed the chicken. Can it get one more kill before we get to Morthal? I'm, we're, we're riding this thing just now knowing that it has the ability to crush and kill things. Huge gambling drama is insane, is crazy now. The gambling drama is, is out of control. Opportunity, opportunity. We got deer in the road. Deer in the road. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening? That wolf's dead. That wolf's gotta die. The believers are gonna, no. The horse doesn't want to kill anymore. The horse has become a pacifist. Never mind. It doesn't matter what the horse wants. The wheels must kill. He's dead. Victory. The horse gets another kill. Oh my God. <laughs> the quickest resolution you could have ever seen. You can't stop us. You can only hope to contain us. Completely unrelated to either of our goals, but this has no business being as fun as it is. Thalmor, in the road? Tell me, while the thieves were hiding in Snow Slipper's house, they were exhausted, so the wizard rested. Hold! Keep them on the wheel! Tell me. Oh! Oh! No, my heart! What, whoa, did the horse want to go back for more? Horse wanted round two? No, I gotta say, congratulations. To the believers or the non-believers unless we can't open this door i'm not sure what happens oh my god oh my god no stop stop horsey let's talk about this build because up until now the main focus of this video has been getting accustomed to our new language barrier along with the occasional hit and run if you ever caught my chaos mage video that's where we first discovered it in one inventory slot we learned a little bit more but now i want to truly break hand-to-hand -hand combat very important context the base damage of a punch in skyrim deals four damage that's according to the UESP. Alduin himself has a level scaling health pool, which at its lowest is a measly 2,355. I should have picked Khajiit, but I'm game for the silly goal of scaling this number into this number, or at least exploring the feasibility of it. Here's the plan. 
Obviously, a girthy and calloused pair of hands will be your primary weapon, but if you want to do this build yourself, you'll need a few mods. Precision. Purely aesthetic, but I can't begin to describe the elation of right-hooking an NPC and having their ragdoll accurately react. In my opinion, this is the greatest Skyrim mod ever made. Blade and Blunt. Optional mod, but this is what I use for combat balancing and some extra challenge. Ordinator. This is a staple mod at this point, I feel like everybody knows about it, but it is a hard requirement for this build because it gives us some hand-to-hand -hand perks. And Apocalypse for Magic. It's a big spell mod, I can't think of any spells it has required for this build, just get it, it's great. Also take a look at Unarmed Hotkey. Game-changing mod, cannot describe how good this is. And lastly, Comprehensive First Person Animation Overhaul, or Kifpow. Got it? Step one complete. Look at you go. Your first steps as a Chad boxing monk. I'll try not to inundate you with numbers and stats right now, so we'll touch on more detailed aspects of this build later, but to give you a quick rundown, the main skills of focus will be light armor. But let's just pretend it's hand to hand now. This track of perks we'll follow is basically that. Alteration because of this perk, however, that means no armor can be worn at all, meaning the only way of training light armor is by punching things. Enchanting. I think this is for obvious reasons, but I'm also not interested in any game-breaking crafting loops. I want to see how far we can take the intended mechanics. Lastly, speech and restoration. These are going to be our minor skills. They'll just naturally level up as we go, but they can also provide some decent benefits. Now that you're educated, keep all of this in mind as we further delve into the madness of trying to understand what the f*** anyone is saying. You will receive your order today. What happens tomorrow? What are cows doing in your house? Doesn't that bother you? Are your children in your life? Oh my god, we must! We must get rid of the cows! Check your cabinets! We must eliminate the cows! It's according to scripture! He had sinned against Skyrim and its people. How is it stored? In the balls. Your deity has abandoned you. Wait, Talos! No! I, I was doing Talos's bidding! I was doing the Talos! He just was- I was listening to the- uh. They say Suddenly. that if a woman is smart, she can't do anything. No, I don't think they- do they say that? <laughs> is, is that what they say? Man is a peaceful place, but the world has to listen. My favorite. Oh, I miss him. Benor. I agree. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Benor. I'm sorry for failing you that one time and letting you launch yourself off of a cliff to My save goodness. an egg. Who would- ah! Why try it? I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand too. Forever. I never want to hold another person's hand in this game. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I am a true hero. I love you. Oh my god, Benor. Lydia, you're fired again. Here it is again. What would the world be like without magic? I don't know, but we got some magic going on between us. This perk, Iron Fist, increases our unarmed damage based on our stamina level. However, by not wearing armor, it does take a little bit of time for light armor to rank up, which I don't know if we need much more other than mage armor, which is gonna be very good. It's got three levels. I think it would be fun to just start boxing storm cloaks. Let's just see how powerful we are. Can I box and take out all Thank of these storm cloaks sir. right now? No, no way, we actually smoked them. All right, Ben Omar, hi. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll tell you, but you first. Hold on, that's orcish. Woo, back it up. First. Nice, okay, Benor got another one. Damn, Benor is crazy good. Don't have any. Hello. Oh! Fuck, really, the arrow got me? This kind of reminds me of Game Rant, you know? Think about how much fun we've had in Skyrim over the last year. Think about how much fun we've had playing Skyrim. And yet Game Rant will not acknowledge us as a Skyrim player anymore. I'm kind of upset, Game Rant. Skyrim player calls out Game Rant for staying silent. A common theme throughout this run, but between main story chapters, I need to run dungeons, make money, and craft it up if I want any hope of greeting the bottom of Alduin's chin with a nuclear-powered uppercut. It's not really an easy build to get used to. You have to cast your armor before the fight, you have to dodge, you gotta make sure you don't get hit, you have to heal properly. It's 100% a glass cannon build, and there's bound to be some growing pains. But the triumph as you climb the mountain of power gets progressively more satisfying especially if you throw yourself at content you're not ready for. Ready for fisting. Still. How much is it? Still. Oh, no! Benor! God damn it! Oh man, why does it always have to happen to the best followers? Goodbye, Benor. The best friends lead to the hardest goodbyes. 
tired of this nonsense. Nah, I'm done playing. Goodbye. Okay, one down. They activated the trap over here, so they're gonna be pushing real quick. Okay, uh, yeah, it's an even bigger room. We got, what do we got out there? One, two, three, Falmer. I don't think this will be too bad, though. Arrow above me to my left. Unless I saw that wrong. Ooh, okay, there's an arrow in my face. My eyeballs are damaged. No! I am so... Why do I get greedy? I... Why do I do things improperly? Skyrim is literally harder than Dark Souls, okay? All right, that is easier than fucking Skyrim. Evil version of it that I... Invisible sword? Sure. Then he automatically gets a switch, he gets an attack, he misses. There we go, okay, we... No, don't, why, why are you not attacking? I'm clicking. I'm clicking the... He's clicking the fucker. One punch, he's gonna do it. There it is. See, okay, how are you blocking? Oh, I hate these guys. I'm done with this dungeon. Fried, you're in the blender. You're in the, welcome to the bone zone, dude. You're done. Oh, this is like playing Dizzy Bat. How, how? All right, anyway, sorry, I had to get pretty locked in there. This was a fairly tough dungeon. Really fun dungeon though. I know, I get a little frustrated. But that's just me having fun. That's how I have fun, all right? Gold ring with sapphire, 500 gold. That's easily three quarters to an entire level of enchanting. The whole class? Okay, so he's a whole new kind of kind of thing. Oh, we gotta take out his teammate ASAP. Stay stuck. Don't move, stop. Back it up. Still. Enough, holy shit, he's hitting the pole. Die! Be brave. Oh. Okay, I gotta get my shit back. Terrible idea. Holy shit, I think I just jumped over his little icicle. I'm dead. Oh no way, he gets it under. Oh, Christ all fucking mighty. Damn it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Still, Noah. Let's just aggro the one. Let's not aggro the second one, right? Still. One hit, then back away, because he has a swing. He'll power attack. We get one more, we pull back. Look out, dude, they are, they are fast and they don't fuck around. Oh, please, please, just don't move. Don't move. One down. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way he fell off and died of fall damage. I'm actually gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be so upset if I spend an hour just for this guy to die of fall damage. There's no way that's it. Was it even real? Was it just a nightmare? Fuck it. Victorious! The Vola brothers arrived in Skyrim to fight against Ulfric Stormcock and the rebels. There's Ulfric Stormcock. I was waiting for someone to, <laughs> to call him Ulfric Stormcock. Do you want to know where people go? I want to know more about this Stormcock fellow. I can kind of like, but well, my feet are cut off, but I can like, I think this is as close as we're gonna get, uh, but I'm also not in good enough shape to wall sit for this long. Like, this is really, really hard. <laughs> I'm spreading the carriage. Shut up, okay? I'm having fun in the carriage and I'm comfortable. Dude, are, are we gonna do this? Are we really gonna do a 75 point turn here? What the fuck is this horse's plan? He's like looking back to the driver for support. The fuck do I do, man? Tell me. Ah. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'm working, please. It's okay, horsey. Take your time. We'll just sit here and silently judge you. Have you ever tried to like build IKEA furniture stoned? This is what it feels like. <laughs> I fucking hate this game, dude. What if you speed it up even more? All right, no promises though. This is gonna crash the game. Oh my God, the horse! 
Josh has made it through. How are we gonna make this video? We're gonna have to make like 15 minutes of it just stupid carriage highlights. I don't know if I should hit him. You should, you should. You have a good opportunity. Careful. We got him! Careful. We got him! We gotta kill on the road! Stop here. You have to pay in advance to get the crack. Excuse me? Let's face it. Dragons are the most fun part of dragon hunting. <laughs> dragon can only Hot take. Eating. Can you eat history? Oh, I forgot how annoying this kid is. Ed, we have a main quest to complete. Why did I get you? Shit. Okay, that's a cave bear. I think they do more damage. Still. First. No, a little bit less damage. See, this is why Rufus is so overpowered. They will attack nothing but Rufus. He just he just stands there. He gets attacked. Okay, let's just send him on a little floaty field trip. No, you don't have to stand up. Snake attack. Where? I don't know. Hey, I, it might be too late. Oh, yeah, hey, well, yeah, we might have fucked this up and showed up too late. Let's just go home. Come on, we want to know what's going on. I know. God damn it. This is for the adults. I don't think this will be too bad. I think I can fight a dragon. Tell me. I'm not going to lie. Decent damage. Expert difficulty. No armor. This is insane damage. I, that's crazy good damage. Hey, you did it. Don't know if it's a real dragon? I no, I, I think I've narrowed it down. Yeah, no, that's a dragon. You already have the answer, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a dragon, for sure. First, you must find out who is behind the dragon. Somers is a great host. If you don't pay attention, they will know who they are. Oh, are you talking about the is this the Thalmor party? Alright, well, who are the Thalmor? The former leader of Moria almost collapsed during the War of Independence 30 years ago. Away America is canon! Before World War I, this sword helped the Empire fight the Serpent Slaves. It's so goddamn funny when they just pull out some real-world lore. Both consciously and unconsciously, do you know your problem? I completely baked my ass. That line is way cooler. <laughs> that line is so much better than before. You're talking to Have me? you ever been more tired in your life? No. No, I'm fucking exhausted, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ever wanted to punch an old lady in the face? Well, now you can. The new Ford F-150. I haven't even heard of childhood. I'm sure you'll agree. We love Greyhold. Thank, thank, thank you for your kindness. kindness. Well, now I'm alone. Trimble. <laughs> Wait, tell me. Confirm. <laughs> oh he had sinned against Skyrim. Okay, I'll go to jail. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit, that was too damn funny. Let's see if One Punch Man is strong enough to take on a giant. Okay, confirmed we cannot take on a giant yet. This was at the end of day three. No, the actually this was on day four. Meaning this B plot One Punch Man build that I've been hyping up is, well, to put it lightly, an absolutely terrible grind when trying to capture a reasonable amount of footage so that I can make these videos faster. But yeah, not a whole lot happened on day three besides a lot of dungeon crawling, enchanting when I could. My subreddit passed a thousand members. That was kind of cool. It's kind of scary. <laughs> it's kind of, I'm not going to lie, like the hair. But it's not, it's not inaccurate. We did Shao's quest and it was at this point where the unintelligible dialogue grew a bit tiresome. Where are you now? World Defense Organization? It's that love, no, no. Little Tim, the Jewish boy? Is King Alexander a dream? What I really learned on day three was how satisfying smashing NPC faces. Like if you can't afford therapy, try my Skyrim build. Are there more Stendar nerds? Still. You fucking losers. Tell me. Is this good for you? Hello. Yeah, it feels really good. This is quite cathartic. Tell me. Hello. Tell me. Climb. Hello. <laughs> Absolutely fucking pummeled these nerds. Set this prisoner free. Hello. Nah, I need the XP. 
This is him. Confirmed. Day three was a day of grinding and just general takeaways from the experience. You want to make sure to surgically place your knuckles directly behind the dragon's testicle. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's stop a murder. An outfit that matches your I lifestyle. am the savior of what button? Why am I frozen? Oh, my keyboard died. <laughs> no, no, Tell me. Uh, no. Okay, stop. Tell me. Shit, my keyboard died. <laughs> Why won't it let me win? Come on, Skyrim, you can't. Not funny. It's not funny. For God's sake, I met a woman. <gasps> oh God. The main building is made of pearls. Once again, we add to our key collection that all mysteriously sound like smut novels. This summer, a hot new novel by Victoria England. Close the door by closing the fish. Followed up by the erotic and sexy sequel, Pelagius spreads his wings. But before you read that one, check out the prequel series, The Secret of the Laurel Room. I'm 100% right. You guys know I'm 100% right. <laughs> the enchanting new fantasy secret novel, The Main Building is Made of Pearls. Listen, don't blame us, it was Google Translate that was horny. That's the one thing I've noticed. The game is exceptionally horny now. Dungeon, 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 money, enchanting, enchanting, dungeon. Tell me, tell me, tell, tell me, me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Confirm. Uh, that's a wonderful thing. Tell me. Do your best. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen. I don't know. First. First. That was the wildest bar brawl I've ever seen. Were they? Are, yeah, they were arguing about bread. I walked in there. What the fuck did you say about ciabatta, dude? Yeah, I'm ciabatta. Beat your ass. Get the freak over here. Uh. Tell me. Tell me. Up until this point, my grind has been fairly standard. Punch things, sell things, buy gems, grind XP, rinse, and repeat. I haven't really made myself any enchanted gear out of fear of wasting my precious and expensive grand soul gems that I've been collecting to this point. However, between recordings, I realized that I made a boneheaded oversight throughout the entire journey. You see, I had convinced myself the whole time that the fortify unarmed damage enchantment was going to be my golden goose. Max out enchanting, create gloves and a ring of fisting power, but hiding in the shadows, the answer was staring at me in the face. Stamina. With the Iron Fist perk, I just need to feed the Hungry Green Bar as much as possible for maximum power. I can't make my Mastercraft loadout until enchanting 100, and I can't maximize the benefits of Iron Fist until level 80, but I can make things easier for myself in the meantime. So I went into day four with a short list of goals. Locate the Fortify Stamina enchantment, find a utility spell, maybe a shout to help flush out the build, craft a testing set of Fortify Stamina gear and see where it takes me, and while doing all of that, Let's keep pushing the main storyline closer to our final test. Drop Zone creates a ring of cushioning magic at the target location. The caster takes no damage when falling into the ring. You know what? For the amount of times I fall off a cliff in battle and die of fall damage, I'm gonna buy that. I know, might be a waste of money. Could have some fun utility though. We need to get the Fortify Stamina enchantment. And I don't know if the best play is gonna be to just look for something that fortifies stamina, or if there's a guaranteed drop we can find somewhere. But I did see a comment on the VOD channel that suggested we should go for the slow time show. And I agree. I think slow time with this build is gonna be busted. He's gonna power attack. I'm gonna dodge it. Oh, okay. First. <laughs> Let's not blow this. Boys, this is. Hello. All good. Her husband cheated on her. How am I gonna attack her after this? It's not fair. <laughs> her husband cheated on her, and then a stranger punched her right across the lower jaw. I really don't want it, ma'am. <laughs> it's been a rough week for her. <laughs> I hate this game. Oh, my dad. <laughs> I didn't even notice his name. I'll show you. This is for leaving me and mom alone. Capital crime. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Oh, my dad's brought back up. All right. Right hook to dad's henchman. <laughs> These are his drunk friends. Power attack me. Tell me. This is important. Forward. All right. Dad is dead. We actually did this dungeon during the chaos mage. It's probably we're probably not going to get a chance of dropping it until the end of dungeon chess. But we need fortify stamina. Forward. Oh my lord. That range is kind of ridiculous. Guys, I should not be kicking this much ass. This is uncanny. I'm not good at Skyrim. Don't let me feel good at this game. 
Well, oh. I'm destroying them. <laughs> I'm laying waste to the entire camp so easily. Nah, Ice has to die first. Okay, give me the door again. How? How does damage go through? Okay, let's get the log trap. Hopefully it saves us here. We gotta fall back big time. Be brave. Okay, two down. I need you to calm the fuck down, ma'am. We gotta get into this room and dodge that first one. Or, or we go like this. Still. Close the gap. Well, oh, that's a lot of health. No, stop teleporting. Mm. Oh, okay, they're over there. They're over there. Meaning, be brave. Stop. Stop it. Oh, God! Tell me. Stop it. Tell me. Fuck you, Grandma! Still. Die! Tell me. First. Back out, back out, back out, back out. That's right, magical Grandma. 1v1. Right here. Your lower jaw versus my knuckles. Push! Push! Don't teleport away. Stop! Good! <laughs> ah, I'm getting sick of this old grandma. Time. You were late. All right, so we got the first slow time show. But what does he say? What are the words behind this show? Small chair. Chat's definitely not going to have a lot of fun with small chair. We wait until we're spotted. Small chair. Okay, those are Ice Wraith summons. Die, die! Noah. No! She is dead! I win! <laughs> okay, Grandma is down. Why are you not dead? Why are the. Okay, we need drop shot. Drop zone. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> this is my only chance of escape. Holy shit, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Fuck you, Ice Race. Woo! That's right. Fuck you. Watch your language. This is a family friendly fucking channel. Now let's just check. Hopefully he's got something in here. Come on, give me stamina. Two handed attacks, not there. No, not there. Okay. Are you willing to discuss? I think that's magical. Have fun. Yes! 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 Oh, fucking victory. Thank you. The run is now over. We did it. It looks like it applies to ring, boots, body. I am going to need Fortify Magicka. Two enchantments is at level 80, which we're almost there to. Can you find, I guess, are there unenchanted? What's going on with my game? Why are people doing this? Excuse me. Hey, <clears throat> get down from there now. You can be my father. No, that's, again, strange proposition. So after how many hours, I don't know how long it's been. We're going back to the main story. Wolfgang shares what he knows about Iowa State. Did he say Iowa State? <laughs> Hold on. Is he talking about the Cyclones? Oh, God. I have absorbed the knowledge of the Cyclones. If your party isn't like this, I don't want to go, okay? I want to have a party where the coolest activity is sitting on a bench eating a loaf of bread. Let me introduce you. I am El Azaro. Smart people get import and export services on the go. Okay, so we're supposed to give him alcohol so he causes a distraction, right? I'm ready, I'd like a drink. Hello, the best place is in Colombia. But a year, there are many who have slept together. But really, a year, yeah, I mean, it's a metaphor. They're not, <laughs> they're not putting up with his shit. Let's go soon before meeting someone. If you come to Melbourne, I don't like to laugh in the kitchen. Immigrants have no rights. Let's help the poor. Melbourne, Melbourne, easy. <laughs> Just get me through the quest. Hello. Easy. Oh, we are just destroying them. Ooh, red dots all around. It's not me. Oh, damn it. I wanted to listen to the interrogation. There it is. I don't know. Oh, who are they killing? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is that Melbourne? First. I'm not here. All right, let's move on. Let's get out of here. Athena Lewis. No time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yes, yes, that's good. Let's go. We saw the soldiers carrying the dead. I have to go somewhere else. I think that might be the most accurate translation so far. Sounds good. I'll follow you. Do what you want, but bring us. Little shaky on the last one. He, yeah, he didn't sound too excited, though, to be freed. I'll How, dare, about it. <laughs> How dare you not be enthralled to be, you know, freed of your captivity? I won't do it. Get him, Melbourne. In. in. <laughs> Don't let him out of here. He's ungrateful. First, 
How much is it? Excellent work, Melbourne. All right, I have no clue what kind of information we got out of that quest. I don't remember how it goes. And the translations did not really effectively deliver any of the information to me. Did you learn something important? I learned nothing at all. So you don't want to commit suicide with a knife in your hand? During World War I, Esbern was a member of the- Please let us know. I'm right. <laughs> Bellator's lines are some of my favorite ones. Please, let me know the problem. I am correct. Number one thing, it has to look cool. If it doesn't look cool, then it's a disaster, but this is huge. Increase stamina by 62 points. Someone do the math on me. What's 25% of 62? That's our damage buff. 49 stamina. 49 magicka. Oh yeah. Oh, this is hot. Silver ring. We want that one on. Let's just test it out on this lady. My teachers, but don't think I don't care about my wife. Tell me. Not bad. Let's see what we can do to a guard. Yeah. What do you think oh god, that's it? Who has more health? A white run guard or Elduin? Do something about it. <laughs> I mean, it's still really powerful. Wait, yeah, where's I haven't had a follower the whole time. I'm going to get Benor back. Why haven't I, nobody, not a single person, has brought up the fact that Benor is not here? And on behalf of Benor, I am offended. Oh, lapse in memory drama is crazy. Yeah, my bad. I uh, uh <laughs> I kind of forgot Benor's fucking dead. Oh, I need a new follower. I need somebody to be on my team. Earn money when you want money. Skyrim has no built-in skills. <laughs> Stanford University. How do you want to go? Why the fuck can't I ride this to, to uh, Riften? It makes... That is ridiculous. Okay, I just got... Are we moving? What the fuck is happening? Yes, ho. Help. Help! Hold on, horsey. It's just... This is a special kind of horse delivery, okay? It's only doing this to set the carriage back down and find a new path to Winterhold. <laughs> this looks terrifying from here. Surprised the game just hasn't crashed or the physics haven't exploded. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's speeding up. This is just training for when we eventually launch all the way into space. You got to get your body ready for the G-force that it's going to have to handle. I'm setting the game speed to 25 times speed. Oh, okay. There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. We did it! We fixed the horse! Oh, oh. Why? <laughs> what, is, what is happening? Where'd my follower go? Stenvar, are you okay, dude? I'm leaving. No one opens the door for me. Delphine said to remember the 30th of Frostfall. I really miss him. It is live fish. Please tell me how to get it and what you need. Now, you guys are gambling on if he mentions World War I or not, right? Or if he mentions one of the world wars. Alduin is everything and anything in the world. Nobody can stop him. It's not helpless. Hopeless. I am Dragonborn. Yes, great. Can you make a dragon? He I seems like a madman. No, I don't think so. No, you do. So no mention of world war there. Maybe I picked the wrong options. After World War One, he became involved in education. That is a world war reference. There is no time to lose. I think you know where you are. Odisha. Nice. This is an example of the Skyhaven Temple built near House Aquiry in the Lek region during the invasion of Skyrim. Yeah, do you know what he said? I no clue. A small chair. Even if I tried my best to translate it and follow along, I would have no clue they were sending me to Skyhaven Temple. Well, that's a cool looking dragon. Conversation. Meaning, be brave. That's not fair. That's not fair. I think I got a spam Steam friend request just now. And that's not fair. I was looking at that. They are just animals. They live in caves and ruins where people have built cities. Go easy on the Forsworn people, okay? All right. We kind of showed up to their front doorstep and <laughs> like... Noah, how much is... Why do you want to know about garlic? I have to know the recipe. Without garlic, we can't save the world. Prozac, for good reason. Many, if not all, are- Isn't that anxiety medic? Wait, what, what is Prozac again? <laughs> Wait, I'm Tom. All right, Tom, see ya. Suggest songs. Back to Ted Orlin. But I think the connection- Wait, hey, bro. Bro, <laughs> where's, where are you going? We gotta finish our chat real quick. We're not done here. 
In the interest of brevity, this formula and the nonsense therein that I mistakenly walked into face first when even attempting to one punch Elduin, it is very wordy, it is far too detailed, and it was miserable to try and set up. <sighs> The base punch damage of Skyrim is 4, we learned this earlier. I grind it enchanting to level 100 offline, your booze mean nothing, I've seen what makes you cheer. This perk lets us buff an enchanting table. This perk lets us apply 3 enchantments to one item. At player level 30, enchanting potions yielding a 25% bonus spawn in merchants at a very low rate. I spent way too long on this. One potion didn't give me enough time to maximize all these enchantments, so I had to get another one. This perk lets you apply varieties of flawless gems for another bonus, so I had to throw out my entire set that I had already made and- Where's the flawless sapphire? Where is it? If what do you, you think you're like doing? This, don't First. Oh, finally, thank Christ. All right. Now with the potions and the gems, everything boosted up as much as I possibly can, the base punch damage in Skyrim is four. Are you paying attention? Maximizing our enchantments, that's 32 bonus damage from gloves and ring, 36 damage. Stamina buffed all the way to 652, divided by four, that's 163, 199 total base damage. Power attack is double, 398 damage. This perk adds at least 25% to power attacks, 498 we round up on this channel. This speech perk here, I don't know, but that's 30%, 600 46. Can I sneak attack Alduin? 1,293. If so, I doubt it, but it's fun to theorize. I'm not even halfway there. Maybe we'll figure out Alduin later, right? We can still enjoy our new power fist. We might be screwed, but you know what they say. That doesn't mean you can't find good bread in the desert. Now, to be fair, though, this level of enchanting is far more balanced. It is, it is much more balanced. Come here. Bring those robotic cheeks over here. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna start playing in third person just cause it's fun. I need a little change of pace. Oh fuck, oh f All right, if I can send enemies flying, then this is officially cool. Be <laughs> brave. All right, it's cool. That was a one punch. That can, that, hey, uh, I did it. I'm, I am one punch man. I am okay. punch man. I am guy who punch stuff. That was a, that was one jab and one punch. The, whoa, whoa. Uh, I don't think that counted as a sneak attack. Don't let that affect your perception of my ability. I'm still very powerful, okay? Leave me alone. See, would I have done that if I sucked? That's an easy puzzle. So easy. The eldest child that does not exist. Ah, the big roll taco. This does not count as having to one punch Alduin, by the way, if I gotta fight him here. Is that it? Oh fuck, that is Alduin. I'm in love. Oh, it's fine. Got him. We hit him with love. That's how we'll kill Alduin. All right, let's hit him with that combo. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Why is he invisible? Uh, that one combo took him out. After this victory, Alduin Dub's teammates seem to be thinking a lot. Why did his voice change? It wasn't really a victory since Elduin escaped. It is often associated with stupidity, carelessness, and alcohol. I, I want to go to this place. This sounds fun. Understanding the power of words is finding their meaning. <laughs> Why does he do Let's that, dude? Let's consider the first definition of Mulago. We just watched Parthernax go through puberty. The alcohol component makes your life move forward, not backward. Confirmed by Parthernax. Alcohol does, in fact, advance you forward in life. Alcoholic tumors. That is a wild departure message. <laughs> I've done all I can. Alcoholic tumors. It's supposed to be interpreted, Dragonborn. Only you can stop it now. <laughs> Tip of the cap. Alcoholic tumors to you as well. It's a dragon colloquialism. Not a lot of people would understand it. Yarl, Yarl. You must answer the call. We have to capture a massive alcoholic tumor inside of your castle. That doesn't mean you can't find good bread in the desert. That is such a good life-changing quote. I need that. I need that embroidered. I want that on my wall. Can't find good. Doesn't mean you can't find good bread in the desert. That sounds like some southern shit you'd hear. Let's get out of here. Let's not. Let's not. Go to bed, child. Stop the meeting arrived. Stop throwing your fake wisdom around the castle. The meeting arrived. I'm just going to ignore them. The meeting arrived. Stop. I have to have a serious. Go to bed. I have to have a serious. The meeting arrived. 
I'm always looking for the right person. Not everyone can understand the holidays. Welcome to our community. I give Tulio another chance and put my Skyrim between my legs. <laughs> Bit. You then. Nah, Ulfric is onto something. Ulfric, Ulfric is for sure onto something. This is cozy. This is actually where your Skyrim belongs. All in all, it was a big loss for the Stormcocks. And Ulfric <laughs> admitted those words sealed the I'm deal. I'm so immature. It shouldn't be funny every time, but it is. Everything was fine until the Stormcocks put copies of Skyrim between their legs. You plunged Skyrim into chaos when you plunged it between your thick, juicy thighs, Storm Ulfric Stormcock. Good news, the Stormcocks and Tolio are on their way here. That's why bad people gathered here. There are also rocks inside the house. That's why they're here. <laughs> they're just looking around. That, that's, that is where peace is formed. Ulfric and Tullius are like, ooh, check out this sick rock that I found. <laughs> Tullius is like, oh my God, I never, I never thought you an artisan. Please, do you have any other stones that I could see? They just start making out at the table. <laughs> Stay tuned for more updates on Heroes of Skyrim. On the next installment of Heroes of Skyrim. Are you ready to see the world as a deaf person? Th they can still see. Are you ready to see the world as a deaf person? Oh my God, how many times are you gonna ask me? Just take me there. Please help the children of the UK. <laughs> Please help the British. The for rockets will increase once the no, I don't want to do this now. If saving uh, or if killing Alduin saves the British. Oh, I can't fast travel from here. Wait, I'm not going to be able to one punch Alduin at my current power level. Oh, shit. Wait, if this is the point of no return, then I'm not going to be able to kill Alduin. Unless. No, God, no. I am not grinding another crafting skill just to squeeze out a little bit more damage. Are you housing garlic in your home? I can help you. Answer me. You can help me? I'm about to change the direction of this kid's life. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, Canood. I didn't mean to. Do you have any garlic? Ha! Huh. Eat. Thank you. I literally am not doing this. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not doing the loop. I, I, I can't. My brain is going to explode. My brain is going to explode. I'm not doing the loop. I'm killing Alduin. That's it. I'm done. All right. We're not going to kill him in one punch. I'll be several punch dude. I'll be the many punch guy. I tried my best. Okay. Yes, I put in the work. I tried. Give me my best gear possible, and let's go kill this damn dragon. Still. Meaning, be brave. Oh my god, I can one-punch the guards now! I won't do it. Oh, come on, come on, count. Just count it. <laughs> if they go down to a knee, count it. Meaning, I did kill everyone. Except for this guy. Why aren't you dead? This is a forgotten compliment. Forward. Oh, I'm about to be fast. I'm about to fry through this final dungeon. Okay, there's a lot of them actually. All right, dragon down. <laughs> Quick combo on the dragon, run. I told you, I'm not playing around. Dragon down. Oh man, that's a sick combo. Still. Tell me, tell me. Razor thin margins. Uh huh. Perpetual punch, Papa. Stop making fun of me for not reaching my goals. All right, hey, how many of you have uh, been disappointed in yourself for not reaching the heights that you knew you were capable of, hmm? 
All right, we've made it. If I can't kill Alduin in one punch, at least I could set the difficulty to novice and kill him in one punch combo. One punch combo has a comma in it. And before that comma is the phrase one punch. So fuck you. It's dark and scary here. Dangers lie ahead. Possibly a large Scandinavian man standing six foot seven, ripped, shredded. Oh God. Stop, back away. Get away from me. Who are you? I'm in love. Oh, it's fine. I'm in love with you, Alduin. I don't want to fight you. It's not a one punch of violence that I'm sending your way. It's a slow, sensual fist. Yeah, put on one of those elbows deep. You're not allergic to latex, are you, Alduin? Oh man, that so fucked. Oh, uh, this is what long streams do to my brain. Oh, see, what did I say? A six foot nine Scandinavian man. Ah, oh, finally, bearded white guy in fantasy representation. Oh. Meaning education. First. Oh, 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 God, I've been blasted with education. Run! I, I, I don't have any sound. Oh my, oh my fucking God, he killed me with that. I'm being serious, man. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't just blast me with knowledge. How am I, how do I, I don't have a comeback for that. He hit me in the face with a bachelor's degree. Dragonborn, we are ready to vent our anger. I'm ready to, I'm ready to vent a lot of anger. See that fucking timer? I'm ready to be done with this. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Let's go. Dragonborn, we are ready to vent our anger. <gasps> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Home sweet home. I forgot about that part. Come to Lake Moore. Oh no, he has a lake house. If we wait, we can defeat them. He used the lake house spell on us. Counteract the lake house spell with another clear skies. Oh, Come to Lake Moore. God damn it, he's giving it all of daddy's money. Hit him again, counteract. Okay, he's landing. Potion. On. Now we're dealing the max damage that we possibly can. I'm going in. 